Hey Internet, I'm the Cow Says Moo, and you're watching The Exploits of Calgamel, episode 30, a Minecraft 1.2.3 Let's Play with a whole bunch of mods installed. Um, got a few different things I want to do today, but the first is to see what I can do to try to control this uh, growth of taint that's happening over in this area. So, to that end, I've uh, gone through my discoveries, and I think this Potion of Purity might help a little bit. I thought I had a Totem of Dawn, but I don't see it in there, so I'll have to uh, make another look in, in a bit. But uh, this Potion of Purity, I think, will help, at least uh, for the time being. Burns away taint on contact. So that is silver wood leaf and glass bottle in an infuser. So I've got out a little bit of glass here to make some bottles. Uh, not something I've really made very much of, but there we go. It's an easy recipe. And we'll throw this silverwood leaf and glass bottles in there and get it going. And I've got quite a few of them. I don't know how well the, how well they're going to work. I've never used them at all, so we'll see how it how it works. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll get six or eight of them here, and then walk away and see what they do while the other ones are brewing up. That'll work. Cool. Oh, come on, let me fly, please. Now it's raining too, so even more lag. All right, let's kill this rain. Let's come on down here. Yeah, it's starting to get into my chicken coop. That's no good. Poof. Well, that's a pretty uh, pretty good response there. Looks like I got one tainted chicken in there. That's kind of funny, actually. Maybe I'll leave him. Yeah, that seems to be working, at least for the time being. I wonder what's causing it, if it's just that, uh, symbol running all the time? I don't know, hard to say. Let's go see if we can find that crazy tainted chicken. I can see a couple red guys in there. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at him. Is he killing off my other chickens? If so, he's gotta die. Any other crazy chickens coming my way? Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, there's one. Alrighty, there we go. Man, this not being able to click space twice is really kind of annoying. Works just fine when I'm not recording, of course. Alright, let's go back up and get the rest of those potions and clear up this space a little bit and then see what we can do to get a more permanent solution. Oh man, it's starting to affect in here too. That's kind of neat though. I 
I thought I could hear it spreading. I don't know, there's something about this whole situation that just strikes me as really funny. Just kind of absurd. Throwing potions at taint and trying to make it all better. And having it work. Really? Go away. Still spreading awful fast. I don't know what the rules for it spreading even are. I was just kind of messing around with it before. Over in the other part of the world. It doesn't seem like it's a long-term solution, because it's still spreading pretty quickly. Fine, whatever. Let me up. But it might buy me a little time to see if I've got a Totem of Dawn recipe hanging out somewhere. Like I thought I did. Hmm, not in there. There. Time of dusk. Maybe I just assumed it. Hmm. I do th know that I'm not getting very many more uh, recipes out of here, though. Hmm. Do I have any forbidden? Got a bunch of Eldritch. Yeah, I've got a few forbidden here. Let's just try one of them. I don't know for sure that it's forbidden, but it's worth a shot. Nope, see, I'm researching forbidden and getting forbidden, so... No more of those. Um, let's go with just regular artifacts and see if I get any, any more of those. I'm pretty sure I've got all the lost ones, but we'll give it a shot. Holy cow. Six fragments and I didn't even lose any of the tablet. That's awesome. much there either. Uh, maybe I can try pulling some tainted bits out of my uh, 
sorting system here and try researching them. Maybe I'll have better luck with those. Um, where's like the tainted grasses and stuff that I had plenty of? There we go. Let's get like 12 of those out of there. Hmm, what's this? Things that are just stuck in my chest because I didn't have room for them, probably. Yeah, no. Studying lost and getting lost, so. Oh, there's a tainted one. Totem of Dawn. Sweet. I guess I hadn't gotten it yet. Six success, 13 failure. Uh, that shouldn't be too horrible. More successes, please. Really, come on. All right, I'll be right back once I make a few more bookshelves. All right, there we go. Totem of Dawn, I think, somewhere. Where did I, did I leave it in here? I did. There we go. So that takes V crystal, silverwood log, ugh, and some nitor. Okay, I think I can handle that. Um, while I was at it, I grabbed uh, some more silverwood leaves and glass, so we'll make some more of this... Uh, uh, potion of purity stuff. Yeah, whatever, and that's fine. There we go. Um, let's see how many uh, logs I have left. Probably not all that many, but. I should have enough, I think. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Uh, four. Yeah. Well, we'll see what we can do with that. And four crystals. And what was the other thing I needed? Uh, Nitor. I got one. <laughs> uh, Nitor, I think, is coal and redstone. There we go. So it's uh, 
redstone and glowstone, I guess. That's fine. Silverwood log, nitor, V crystal, regular infusion, silverwood log, V crystal. No, 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 no. There we go. We've still got plenty in there. Sweet, Totem of Dawn. Um, well, let's just go put one over here in this cave, I guess. And we'll see how it, how it works, because I really don't know. Um, let's just start turning some of this stuff back. Going. Let's put it like right here and see what happens. Maybe uh, throw that there. There we go. <laughs> kind of interesting combating this taint. I don't want to go down actually, I want to go up. Once again, Cow, you built this place. You should know your way around. Cool, there we go. And now let's throw these back up in there. Alrighty, there we go. Place these totems around a bit. Ooh. Crazy chicken got out, apparently. I don't know how that'll do it, since it's actually sitting on taint, but we'll see. There we go. Let's see what happens here. Kind of put these around a little bit. Cool. Like I said, I don't know how well they're going to do uh, placing them actually in Tainted Land, but uh, I'll go back and get some more of those potions and try to de-taintify the land and maybe keep it safe. Because look at all those chickens that have turned already. That's no good. I wonder if tainted chickens lay tainted eggs. Ooh, salmonella. Mmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, there's a start. 16 more. I'll see, it's still spreading back behind it. How's it look right there on top of it, though? See, it looks like it's doing pretty well, but I'm going to need a lot more of them. Yeah, I'm just having problems, and I don't know quite what I'm doing, so... I 
I think it's a lost cause. But, to be honest, I've been kind of getting bored with this world anyway. I've been wanting to upgrade. I don't know that I'm quite ready to do it, but I'm definitely on the way. Oh, nope, it's tainting down here, too. Oh, wow, it's tainting all the way up to these silverwood trees. I'm kind of surprised. Because I thought they had a, a healing effect as well. Well, we'll see what happens right here around this totem now. That it's not tainted immediately around it. Come on, jump. Fucking things. Might even be more than chickens at this point. Might have gotten to some of the sheep and cows already, too. Yep, it has. They drop tainted stuff. That's interesting. I'll have to take a look at that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, tainted organs. Look at that. And tainted spores. Can I need? Um, wondering what caused it still, because I have no idea. I don't know if it was me, I don't know if it was my experiments in Taint over there, or if it's just something that happened for some reason, uh, which is kind of frustrating, but at least it's a cool effect. <laughs> um, I know in the next version he's changed a few things uh, with the way auras work. Which is one of the reasons why I'm looking forward to upgrading maybe to 1.25 and getting a new version of Thomcraft and getting a few other things working. Maybe putting industrial craft in and taking something else out. Or maybe not taking anything out. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh... Not yet. Anyway, um... Other things I wanted to do today, since I think this uh, whole taint thing is a lost cause, is I was kind of wanting to make some dark furnaces. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Um, we'll keep going up here. Uh, this is a good spot grab uh, my diamond blocks that I've been generating. 36. Eh. I think that'll be enough, though. go and then pop over here and start transmuting some of them into dark matter. There we go. 18 dark matter. Yeah, that's a good start. Flip my client star. And then to uh, turn dark matter into dark matter furnaces, you need to make dark matter blocks. So there we go. 
and I'm going to want two of them, so I think that's perfect. It's just eight dark matter blocks around a regular furnace, so that's easy enough. There we go, so I've got two dark matter furnaces now. Um, the way dark matter furnaces work, they're kind of like most other furnaces where you've got a fuel source and then it just uh, cooks items really quickly, but still just cooks items. If you right click, you've got a fuel source and items. Uh, you do have an inventory going in and an inventory coming out, which is nice, so it can actually have a, a, a little bit of a buffer uh, rather than just one item. But um, the fuel sources it use are the equivalent exchange fuel sources, including a Klein Star. So what I think I'm going to do is make a Klein Star and charge it, up, charge it up, just a small one, a uh, ein or so for each one of them. Uh, let's see, there's a zwei, ein, perfect. Let's get one, and let's get two, and then we will charge them up. Perfect and then we'll charge up our big one more. And let's take that down to the sorter room and we'll replace the blue tricity furnace that I've got down there with a, a dark matter furnace instead. Um, another benefit of the dark matter furnace and eventually the red matter furnace as well is that you have a chance of duplicating items when you're smelting metals in them. So if you're smelting, say, iron ore... Oh yeah, look at this place. This is all corrupted. Hmm. I wonder if it's affecting my... Uh, um, build craft stuff here at all. Let's come up here and check. Stupid, stupid things. Don't get me wrong, they're cool and all, but it's, of course, it had to spawn right there in the way. Um, looks like everything's doing fine still. engines look like they are still running and still getting fuel, so it's at least not affecting any of my machinery or engines, so that's a good thing. Hmm, I wonder how what it affects on water. What effects it has on water, if any. My pump seems to still be working fine. Um, that one is not endless anymore, which is interesting. Uh, I've already got my ever tied. We'll just infinite supply that guy up again there. There we go. That way we have no accidents. Hmm. I wonder how that happened. How long it's been a problem there. <laughs> but as long as uh, there were enough other infinite source or another other sources there, it still wouldn't run out. But it could have potentially become a problem. Yeah, this whole taint thing is also lagging me up a bit because of the spread, I think. All the calculations it's making to spread. Um, anyway, we'll still keep chugging along here for a little bit longer anyway. Uh, so what I'm doing here is replacing this Blutricity Furnace. And I don't need the blue, blue electric power anymore. Um, I'm not sure what direction I need to go with this. So let's just put it the same way for right now. And I'll put the Klein Star in there. And I think I saw an ore up here. Maybe I'll just mine that real quick and put it in there and see what happens. I wonder how long that's been there. I hadn't even noticed. Cool. 
see if this uh, setup works for the furnace here. Uh, yeah, looks like it. And it's already come back out cooked, so that's pretty quick. Sweet. Um, the other place I was wanting to put a dark matter furnace is over at the factory in uh, Calgamel Industries over in the auto crafting area rather than trying to use just a regular little furnace to make uh, um, what am I making over there? Little wafers, stone wafers. So let's head on over there and we'll replace that one too. This one right here. Yeah, I see all of a sudden I'm much less lagged over here than I was over there where the uh, taint was spreading. But there we go, so that'll be a much faster uh, um, furnace, so you won't have to wait wait so long if you're doing uh, cobblestone or, or stone or you're doing wafers or anything. See, look how fast this thing is. Zoom, and it doesn't consume much. Yeah, I'm still stuck here at three, so that's good. We'll go ahead and take these out of out of here when they're done. There we go. Awesome. Um, how is the taint looking over here? Is it spreading this way too, or is it just spreading the other way? Because my mana levels are really high, and the uh, taint. Aura looks like it's pretty high too, so it could easily spread this direction as well. So far though it looks good. I don't see any signs of it over here. Well, let's run over this way and see how that plesiosaur is doing since I haven't stopped in to check on him lately. Hmm, he's still just an egg? How you doing there, buddy? You've been here a while, why haven't you hatched? Um, must just be chunk loading, because you're only at 79%. Well, we'll wait him out and get him to hatch, too. Um, I'll be back in just a little bit. They go pretty quick, but uh, no need for you to watch all of this. There we go, about 98%, 99. Yay, plesiosaur! Hey, buddy. Oh yeah, you're pretty cute. Look at those slippers. I bet you swim just fine. That's what I thought. I thought you were a swimmer. Interesting that you wanted to hatch on land, though. You, yeah, go in the water. Go in the water, there you go. Sploosh. How you doing in there? Oh yeah, you can get back out too. Sweet. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, that's a nice color. I like that guy. Super big eyes. <laughs> yeah, I can take off and fly around no problem even over here, which is cool. Um, how are my two Velociraptors doing? They look like they're hanging out, chilling, doing pretty well. This little guy's growing a bit. Stegosaur and Triceratops are still just freaking huge, following each other around. Wow, those guys are ridiculous. Alright, so what else do I want to do here? I don't know. Kind of concerned about this taint still. Just can't... Can't get it out of my head. see how this area is doing. See, that's weird. The area that I'm deliberately tainting constantly is hardly spreading at all. Um, yeah, and the taint is maxed out. Look at that. That taint bar is totally maxed out. But the magic level isn't quite so high. 
as opposed to over here where both of them are fairly high but the taint level's only at like 50% and the magic's really high. I think. Let's come take a look and make sure. Yeah, see the magic's really high but the taint's at you know, 30, 40, 50 percent in some chunks and this taint is just spreading like mad just gangbusters that's just crazy yeah I don't know I don't know what to do about it except get my axe down and chop it down <laughs> Poison me, will ya? <laughs> I guess he will poison me. And not much care about what I do to him. Man, this hack sucks against him. I'm gonna have to get that sword back out. Come on. It's a freaking gas spore. There we go. May as well pick up that tainted log while I'm here, I guess. There we go. How are you chickens doing? Oh yeah, totally tainted. Sh sheep are totally tainted. Cows. Do I have any taint cows over here? What happened to my cows? I don't see them. Hmm, the cows must have just died. There's some tainted piggies, though. The only thing that's not tainted in there are the half blocks. I can't grow pumpkins, obviously, anymore on this, or melons. They're all just popping off, seeds and all. Yeah, I think, though I don't want to because I was kind of liking the way this world was turning out, I guess I was also kind of getting bored with it. I'm going to have to start writing this off, I guess. Well, um, something I could do, I could try moving to a different dimension for a while, I suppose. I've got Mistcraft installed. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know how much luck I'll have with that. I'll probably end up finding a corrupted world and <laughs> having issues there, too. But that's okay. I'll give it a shot. I've never really tried anything in Mistcraft, so this will be another adventure. We'll give it a shot. Drop these off here. Get out some books. Well, helps if you open the right thing, cow. Ah, oh, there we go. Got a ton of books. Um, I think what I need is feathers. Oh, and I got a bunch of them. Good. Maybe once I get all this stuff, I'll just go wandering a bit, see what I can find. Um, let's just get, like, I don't know, that many linking books so I can come back from different realms. Oh, come on, alt doesn't work. And... I think I can just do this and this and get descriptive books. Cool. And I'll start loading some of those up into here. And uh, away we go, I guess. I think. 
Like I said, I've never even tried this, so we'll see. All right, click and hold. Oh, there we go, let go. Ooh. Uh, I hear guests. Oh, this guy is from uh, uh, fossils. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fly. Come on, let me fly. Thank you. Just let the chunks load here for a bit. Um, I'm gonna pause it for a second and we'll let the chunks load. All right, there we go. Hopefully, let's give this a try. Uh, I think this guy's from the fossils mod. Um, he shows up in hell, but apparently this is a hell world, so we'll see what we can do to him. See if we can mess him up. Uh, I got my Vulcanite am amulet out, obviously, uh, while I was just waiting for chunks to load. I'm still lagging up a storm. Ah, there we go. Dead dude. All he dropped was meat, it looked like. Oh well. I was kind of hoping for something cool, like a scarab gem or, I don't know, something. But, no dice. Anything else around here interesting? Doesn't really look like it. It's kind of cool that it's uh, what looks like a more more or less normal grassland, except it's a hell train. That's pretty neat. I wonder if there's trees. Yeah, there's trees. That would be super cool, actually. To do a long run, do something like this. Man, so laggy. This should be super easy flying, but it's way laggy. I turned the uh, render distance down, and I'm still just lagging up a storm. Ah, oh, Jesus. There we go, return to sender. Booyah. Yeah, a bunch of zombie pigmen. Anyway, that's kind of neat. So I think I'm just going to leave this one, though, and we'll just go on to another world and see what else we can find, just out of idle curiosity. And then I've got a bunch of books where I can return to the overworld. So we'll just see how things go. Uh, Mistcraft is really pretty straightforward. Um, you just make, you can, with just a book, you can make a linking book, which is what you use to return from another realm to the main world. Uh, or to another world that you've created. Um, all it does is uh, wherever you write the linking book, that's where it's going to take you back to. So if, if I were to write a linking book here, this spot right here, and even this facing, is exactly where it would take me back to. So if you remember where I made all these linking books in my uh, um, laboratory over there, and I click on one of them right now, it'll take me exactly back to where I was.
Poof. And it'll also drop the, uh, the book of the age that I was visiting at the time right at your feet. And no, actually, this is the book that I teleported to, so this is the Hell World. Um, so that's cool. And then, as you saw, creating these descriptive books is almost as easy. It's just a book plus a feather. Um, and you just book and feather, and it makes a descriptive book to a random age. Um, you can also make a, a desk or something like that. Uh, I've seen some mod previews of it and start writing your own worlds, which is something I definitely want to get into a, a little bit, but I'll probably do... Um, I might do in this world a little bit, but I'll probably wait until the next world to do that. So we'll just see what happens here in this one, what this one looks like. But as you can see, the worlds you travel to are, are very different. I mean, that one was uh, hellish, so even though it looked like the overworld, it was all hell creatures and uh, lava and gas and stuff. Uh, I would imagine I would be able to grow uh, infernal bees there, and uh, there's probably blazes around somewhere. Alright, what's this world? It looks like all water to me. That's a pretty boring world. Just one lonely block that I'm standing on. Got to let the terrain generate a little bit. Uh, I'm going to pause for a second to let the terrain generate. All right, so that world was just laggy as all heck. So I think I'll just not go back to that one. Um, let's just pick out another one and see where else we can go. Uh, let's go here. 41. 41 sounds good. Piggies, don't you push me off. This one looks like it might be a skyblock world, or a sky world, or something like that. That's why I'm getting rid of these piggies, because they were pushing me around a bit. If you'll see here, I'll come up to the edge, and there is no ground below me. It's just a few blocks, and then absolute nothingness. Crazy, isn't that? pretty neat world. Looks like it's also a flat world. I see no hills at all, so it's a flat sky world block, or sky block, or something like that. Uh, got some trees, so that's something anyway. Um, REI's mini-map even is kind of freaking out. Look at that. Just nothing there. Pretty cool. Uh, it was nighttime, but it looks like the sun's starting to come up. Uh, some of these worlds are always daytime or always nighttime. They've also got different rates of speed for uh, the time that it takes to go from night to day and vice versa. So I think there's also always dusk and maybe always dawn. So there's all kinds of varieties of different things. Different colored skies. Um, then there's some stranger formations as well. Um, you can end up in a, a cave world. Just all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, hoping to find at least a couple more of the interesting ones here, so we'll see. Uh, let's uh, check some of this stuff. I don't need it. Whatever. Here we go and make room for a couple more books here. Let's go back into the overworld first. And then we'll pick another one to travel to. Uh, 43 it is. You're the big winner. What's this world going to be? Well, we've got trees. Looks like a whole lot of trees. It might be an endless forest. That's kind of cool.
Can you hear me hitting the space bar? Uh, whatever. Yeah, it certainly looks like a whole heck of a lot of forest. That's kind of neat, actually. That's uh, a whole lot of wood for someone. Uh, looks like it's got caves. Not all of these worlds have caves at all, so that's kind of cool too. Dig down here. Oh yeah, definitely got caves. Look at that. Cool. Got sheep, so it's probably not a hill terrain. Though I don't know if you can get trees in the hill terrains. I think you can. I think we had one a minute ago that had one, didn't we? I don't remember for sure. Whatever. Like I said, I haven't played around with this mod hardly at all, so I've just watched a couple videos. Oh, looks like we've got some mountains too. So that's awesome. You've got a train with so far just hills and mountains. That would be a heck of a lot of fun, actually. I like that combination. Plenty of wood to build stuff and interesting mountains. Uh, roam around, find some neat neat looking peaks or something to build off of. Yeah, that's a good combination. Um, one thing I haven't found so far is uh, like obelisks in any of these worlds. Because you can get oil and obelisks and anything that you can generate in the, the main overworld you can also get in these Mistcraft realms. But so far I haven't really seen any. Just kind of keeping an eye out. Oh, there's finally a few red dots, so there are enemies on this world. I don't know if that's something Mistcraft can do, is create a world without any bad guys. That'd be neat. Well, could actually be kind of boring, but it might be neat. Oh, this one's got ravines, and look at that, there's trees all the way down in that ravine. That's pretty awesome. You've got dirt all the way down there and trees. That's neat. Where are you, butthead? There you are. Definitely got bad guys. Just roam around real quick here. I know you probably can't see very well. Oh yeah, there's ore. That's what I was looking for. Just to see if there was any ore at all down here, but there are. Uh, as you can see, I've got some coal there. Hmm. And, I don't know, did I put my torches somewhere? There they are. That'll work. keep that volcanic vulcanite amulet just in case I run into something but I want to go way down here and see if I can't find any actual ores just out of idle curiosity if you get normal ore generation or if you just get crazy ore generation as well there we go well, we've got lava and creepers, and it looks like I've got a diamond right here. What level am I on? 11? Cool. So yeah, it sounds like we've got pretty normal uh, ore generation, so that's good to know. Replace some of this with some blocks and try to take this diamond and see. Yep, just a normal diamond. Awesome. Okay, well, let's head back and see what else we can find. See if we can find anything crazy. So the way those books works, if you haven't noticed, is you right-click and you pull them back and it kind of goes into a blur, and then once it's all the way pulled back in that blur, you just let it go. And you teleport to a new age. See, I'm right-clicking and pulling it back and it's kind of blurring a little bit, and then you just release it. straightforward, but if you don't know what you're doing, it could be a little weird. Because it's not entirely intuitive, it's just easy. That's kind of a weird looking thing on the 
on the screen there. What's that? Whoa. That's a big hole. Holy cow, that goes way far down. this one? Nope. Just that one. That's crazy. Did you see how far down that went? I'm going to go back to it again. Alright. Fly, damn you. Oh, looks like we've got some sort of a uh, corrupted world or something maybe collapsing well no it's just a, a crazy well no see it's going down below bedrock so yeah that's got to be some sort of a unstable world or something because that's below bedrock level that's neat though look at that let's try going down and see what happens Oh, you know, maybe that's one of the, I don't know what it's called, a star fissure or something. Um, basically, a few worlds have... Why did I end up here? Where the heck did I end up? Hell, and gone from anywhere. That's okay. Um, Laboratory is over there. That's weird. That was a weird place for me to end up. Anyway, uh, a few worlds, or maybe all worlds, I really don't know, um, have gates that automatically are able to let you teleport back to your world. So if you do forget a linking book for some reason, you can just keep popping from world to world until you find one of those. And apparently that was one, because it sent me back to the main world, to the overworld, so it worked. Um, and these trees are, I guess, protecting the area, but they just don't have much of a radius. Only like uh, three squares. Lame. Uh, the magic level's way down, though, too, so maybe that's why it's not spreading. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, just keep searching for right now, I guess. See if we can find another cool place. And I'm probably going to go over an hour for this episode, we'll see. Um, just because I'm kind of screwing around, I'm kind of bummed about the uh, taint spreading so much, ruining the world a little bit. It's kind of neat, but it's also not really what I want out of the world, so it's kind of annoying. Holy crap. That's another really interesting sky world. You had a bunch of sand falling. Well, we'll give this world a few minutes here to generate, and I'll be right back again. Alright, well that one was lagging out pretty hard too, so we'll just leave that one alone for now too. And I'm making just a big mess of all my different books, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about make, finding places to go back to. I'm just kind of snooping, seeing what all I can get. Because though I've read a little bit about it and seen a, a mod you know, spotlight, I haven't actually seen a lot of the things that you can get with uh, Mistcraft, so I'm just curious. Uh, this one looks pretty vanilla so far. Oh, no, wait, there's definitely bits of not vanilla right there. <laughs> oh, is that a village on a, a sky world? That's awesome. Definitely gotta come check this, this out, see how they handle a skyblock world, or don't handle, as is more than likely the case. Uh, so I'm going to pause it again for just a second so this can generate, and hopefully we can check out this village in a couple minutes. Alright, I think everything's generated here, or at least as generated as it's going to get. Uh, let's come on over here and see what this looks like. Uh, yeah, oops. 
Dude, certificate. He just fell. <laughs> oh yeah, sheep. You think that's funny? Because I think it's funny. <laughs> Come on out of here, dude. So most of their village is actually just big floating columns. That's pretty awesome, actually, <laughs> in a weird sort of way. All right, let's see if I can fly over there. Oh yeah, no problem. Hey dudes, how's it hanging? You wanna go out your other door? I think that'd be pretty funny if you did. Wah! Hey, you know what? I got another idea. Aww. I guess I can't. I was going to try to dig underneath him and, and uh, let him fall, but it looks like their uh, foundation goes down quite a ways. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Well, let's fly up out of here. Fit out the door here? Not quite. There we go. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that foundation goes all the way down. Go down to the bottom of the world here, I guess. Yep, yeah, looks like it. Boom. Yep, bottom of the world. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's head on up somewhere with solid ground and uh, do another linking book, I guess. Definitely a weir weird world with uh, villages on skyblocks. Crazy talk. Lots of farmland in that one, though. Wow. <laughs> Still not seeing any uh, obelisks or anything. I've got some wisps. Uh, cows and zombies. Don't see any glowing spots. Looks like there's another village down over here. That's kind of cool. Two villages pretty close together like that. Yep, here's another one. This is probably going to lag me up a little bit, generating all that water. Give it just a second. Looks like I got some creeps down there. Um, maybe I'll show you something I don't think I've done yet. Uh, it's not R. What is it? Apparently it's not C, not G, hmm, <laughs> there is something else you can do with this swift wolf's ring, but I can't figure out what the key combination is. I thought it was going to be R, but nope. Um, you can summon lightning bolts with it, basically, and it's uh, pretty awesome. I was going to do it to some of these uh, creepers down here and get a big explosion, but um, maybe I'll just pause the game real quick and look up the the uh, instructions and see what they are. I'll be right back. 
Well, alrighty then. I got back to the world and I've got absolutely nothing on me. Um, so, I guess that's as good a point as any to just wrap it up for this episode. Um, yeah, so uh, if there's a next one, and there will be of some sort, whether I do this or maybe I'll spend the weekend uh, prepping a 1.2.5 or a, yeah, 1.2.5 instead, um, one way or the other, I'll see you on Monday. Until then, have fun and keep moving.